Just quickly, uh, how do you feel about all these athletes that are starting to blow up? They all want to be paid a million bucks, but they don't want private companies they don't agree with to be sponsoring them. Well, I feel a bit sorry for them. You know, someone like Pat Cummins strikes me as a decent sort of fellow there from the Blue Mountains in Western Sydney, but he's brought public shame and, and, and valid claims of hypocrisy upon himself. He lives in a mansion in the eastern suburbs, he travels the world, he goes to India, he's on multi-million dollar contracts. Most of the cricket equipment and clothes that he wears are generated from fossil fuels. So you just look like a disgusting hypocrite, a foolish hypocrite, to be saying that Alinta Energy shouldn't be sponsoring cricket. Also, when this time last year, Cummins was fronting up those Alinta Energy ads, remember they'd sit around the table, yeah. what's the smart <laughs> thing we can do now to make it better customer service? As Pat repaid the good coin he was on for those advertisements? I don't think so. So I, I feel sorry for these guys who've got out of their depth and anyone who mixes politics in with sport, it never ends well. Look at the Manly Rugby League Club, for example, and this is not ending very well for the Australian cricket captain who, quite frankly, is, is copying a pasting and, unfortunately, it's well-deserved because he's a, he's a hypocrite. Good on you, Mark. Talk to you again soon.